We are back and we are ready to create a makeup tutorial. It's been a while. I know. So for those that are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, okay? I'm going to be bringing back these makeup tutorials. I cannot promise that it's going to be every time, but every time I can, I'll definitely will. Now, today's look, which is this one right here, yes. I've decided to recreate it and bring it to YouTube. I have to really clean my brows, okay? But we're definitely going to be working around it. I need to clean my face. So for my brows, I'm going to be using a Clean Fresh CoverGirl Brow Glue. For my routine, you guys, I have to, have to add something that's going to maintain these brows or unlock. Because they tend to just be all over their place. So the brand is Kosas. This one is in shade medium brown. Now that we have our brows done, I'm going to be taking my P. Louise base, and this is in shade 2. Last time, I did use two different palettes, so I am going to try my best to just stick with one. This is the Carnival three yes with stacy marie you're able to create this look this shade right here let's just see how this one comes out because another thing that i didn't like was that i didn't have enough dimension it looks cute because i only use one shade to blend my crease but i feel like like i said i could have done better all right so we're gonna go ahead in our crease and stamp this shade right here I'm just more so going to focus on placing my shade with no more product I'm going to be blending the edges No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't go with that color. Yeah, I can. Because I want it to look a little bit more burgundy. So, no, I have to go with chili pepper. I don't know. I don't know. What? Girl, what did you do? Blade, which is this red right here. And very lightly building this color up, I'm going to go on top of that blend just so we can go ahead and add kind of like that burgundy vibe going on. So I'm going to be placing that shade like literally right on top of that blend. So it's all about the blend right now if you need to go back and bring that color back you sure can a clean brush and try to blend this out
right here like I feel like I need to go in a little bit with the red let me see if it makes a difference I'm gonna go back in with purple with no more product and just blend all right I think I'm okay with this blend yeah all right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. So what I'm doing right now is just creating this guide to remove whatever product I have here to create like a blank canvas and just removing whatever it's inside my crease yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that I did the best I could It looks okay. I'm going to be adding sand, which is this shade right here. I don't know what it is. I like to start with this portion. go into my outer corner so I'm gonna be taking the twilight shade and I'm directly going into the end of that crease and then slowly you know create that transition with that you know back and forth blend See, right now I'm just prepping this right here so we can apply the next color and one thing I like to do is do this because it does give me a little bit more flexibility to bring this color in I'm gonna apply it right on top of that one Play with the blend, you guys. So the next shade is going to be orange. So the next shade I'm gonna go in is called Mango, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go on top of that red, But as you guys see how it's just orange and it's slowly turning into yellow. All right, now that we placed this right here, now we're gonna play with the blend. We want to maintain the colors there okay because sometimes they tend to get lost that's just the goal for everything to merge together and look at how this look you already see that this one is there so we don't got to do much here but we are going to be adding a yellow shade right here just to merge this color and this yellow in my batteries 
dying. So we're adding that yellow right on top of that orange and watch it make a difference. I don't know if you can see it but you know I didn't really have too much add much but we're gonna go ahead with the orange again and do that same step with those colors just to make sure they're still there I feel like everything is okay we're gonna go back with our first shade we applied which is called sand just tap it to merge everything together and that is the look i'm gonna try to achieve it here off camera and let me change my battery so we can jump with the glitter one thing about me is that i love to create makeup looks that have glitter only because it just adds a touch of glitz okay it has a touch of extraness like just how pretty it just like made the look look i am going to be using this small detailed brush my favorite glitter which is like this one right here is whatever color you're going for um and let me just hurry up because this glue is gonna dry but honestly I take the end of the cap and I just dip it and you have to be very much careful with it because it can create a mess super fast I made sure I grab this brush as comfortably as I can so this is just how I add it and then I'll just slowly Start adding. Well, you see right here, like it kind of went too thin. It'll show up in the picture. You just want to make sure you're stamping that look like the glitter and of course if you need more you can always go back bro look how pretty oh my god that looks so pretty but as you guys see the intensity of this glitter is a little bit more intense i actually re prefer it this way that it's very light and very you know thing and this one is a little harsh but if i was to do a client this is the route i'll go because it's just so pretty but um you know this can go left really fast so just try to be very detailed and even though the glue will only stay in the area that you add the glue but sometimes that's not the case <laughs> glitter gets stuck and it, it sometimes can get annoying So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.